Hello everyone, I am Mohan, Assistant Professor, Department of Mechanical Engineering and in this video we are going to have an introduction about heat and mass transfer. So uh, the objective of the today's video or lesson is to understand the mechanisms of heat transfer and the steady and transient conditions. And these are all the outcomes of the lesson. At the end of this video, you will be able to understand or to define what is heat transfer and understand the difference between thermodynamics and heat transfer and understand the different mechanisms of heat transfer. So these are all the outcomes. Okay. Fine. So what does this picture tell you? a cup of hot coffee. So we all know from our experience that a hot cup of coffee left in a room eventually cools off to the room temperature. This is something that we experience in our day to day life. So whenever we offer a hot cup of coffee, you know, when it is too hot to drink, what people normally do? So we will keep the coffee, coffee aside and wait for the coffee to cool down. So this is the human nature because we cannot have a hot coffee, right? So we can have uh, a coffee with the medium uh, heat, right? Or mild heat we can have. Too hot, no, it will harm our tongue, right? So this is human nature. This is scenario one. And how is it related to heat transfer? That is the question. Why, is there, why are we showing this picture? So how this is related to heat transfer? That I will tell you. And this is scenario 2. So what is this? This is soft drinks or cold canned drinks. So a soft drinks or cold canned drinks left in the same environment warms up. Right? It is opposite to a hot coffee. Hot coffee cools down whereas the soft drink or cold can drinks warms up. You know, it is always served cool when we take from the refrigerator, right? But after a few minutes, it is slowly getting warm up. Right? So, how does it happen? Right? What is the what is happening behind? So, this is question that we must you know answer. Fine. First, so this is. Scenario 2. Let's come back to the scenario 1. Okay. How that coffee cools down? Right? What is happening? See, this is the hot cup of uh, hot coffee at a temperature of 70 degree Celsius. And let us assume the room temperature is 20 degree Celsius. Let us assume this is the winter season. You know, in the summer season, the temperature around uh, uh, 30 degree Celsius. Oh, this is the summer season. So, the environment temperature is 20 degrees Celsius. Yeah. Hot coffee temperature is 70 degrees Celsius. So, here there is a temperature difference. 70, 20. So, what will happen? The energy transfer. So, how this coffee cools down? Because of the energy transfer from the hot coffee to the environment. Okay. The transfer of energy from the warm medium to the cold medium or the transfer of heat from the hot body to the cold body. Right? So this is how the energy transfer takes place. I hope you understand how this coffee cooled. Okay? So heat flows in the direction of decreasing temperature because heat always flows from higher temperature to the lower temperature. Right? So case 2. In the scenario 2, a cold can drink or soft drinks. Let us assume the temperature is 4 degrees Celsius and the outside temperature is 25 degrees Celsius. Outside temperature or ambient temperature or room temperature, whatever it may be. Okay, It is 25 degrees Celsius and this is 4 degrees Celsius. So here the heat is transferred from the room or the ambient to the cold can drink or the soft drinks. So this is why the cold can drink or the soft drink is getting warms up 
when it is left in the room okay when it is the, both the coffee and the soft drink in the same environment but one is getting colder and another one is getting warmer right so this is something that we experience in our day to day life right every day we experience this scenario but we might not understand right why this happening so this is another practical example a heart egg right a heart egg cools down right after few minutes so uh, when we have that boiled egg okay when we offer a, when we eat a boiled egg a very hot boiled egg we cannot have it right immediately so what we do is we left it in a room or we will uh, immerse the hot egg into the water right so when we immerse the hot egg into the water and the egg will cool down okay there is a two way and we can cool the hot egg right so this is another example so everywhere the heat transfer takes place right the heat transfer plays an important role okay. right now let us understand what is heat transfer right i think you know uh, at this point of time you might have understood what is heat transfer so although i will tell you the formal definition of what is heat transfer heat transfer is nothing but the flow of heat or thermal energy due to temperature differences right the transfer of energy from warm medium to the cold medium or the transfer of heat from hot body to the cold body because of temperature difference so temperature difference is the driving force for heat transfer right so how fluid flows because of the pressure difference whenever there is a pressure difference there will be fluid flow similarly whenever there is a temperature difference there will be a heat flow right so the science that deals with the determination of the rates of energy transfer is the heat transfer so the subject heat transfer is the deals with the determination of the rates of energy transfer right so i hope you understood what is heat transfer by this time right so before moving on to the different modes of heat transfer we must understand the difference between temperature and heat i hope many of you will have confusion about you know the difference between the temperature and heat what is that same is that uh, is that both entity or same or different we have some confusions right i will clarify in this slide so temperature is nothing but a measure of hotness or coldness of an object right so it is a measure of the amount of energy possessed by the molecules of a substance right measure of the amount of energy right? i will underline the word let me use uh, the pen to highlight this is a measure of the amount of energy possessed by the molecules okay or we can say the measure of hotness or coldness of an object whereas heat is a form of energy okay it is an energy so heat is an energy very important no heat is a it is an energy in transit okay spontaneously heat flows from a hotter body to a colder one right uh, like we seen in the previous slides a hot coffee cool down and a cold canned drink warms up right because of the temperature difference that's what it says so temperature is a measure of hotness or coldness whereas heat is a form of energy Let's move on to the next slide. Okay. Now, what is the difference between thermodynamics and heat transfer? Right. So, uh, you know, you may be wondering why we need to take a detailed study on heat transfer. After all, the amount of heat transfer can be determined, uh, you know, as the proper. Uh, as the system uh, changes from one equilibrium state to another equilibrium state by thermodynamic process alone right uh, but thermodynamics does not give any indication about the 
rate of heat transfer or how long that takes place. Right? So by using thermodynamics, we can determine the amount of heat transfer, but not rate of heat transfer. Okay. So in practice, in practice, we are concerned more about the rate of heat transfer than with the amount of heat transfer. Okay. Let me give you a practical example. Right. So what is this? So this is a thermos bottle. Okay. Thermos uh, bottle or flask, thermo flask. So and I think you all know the purpose of flask. So it is used to retain the hotness for a longer period of time. Right. So uh, we can determine the amount of heat transfer from this, uh, you know, thermos bottle, you know, where inside we have a coffee, right? We can determine the amount of heat transfer from the thermos bottle as the hot coffee inside cools from, let us say, you know, uh, uh, you know, 90 degree Celsius to 80 degree Celsius. Okay, 90 degrees Celsius to 80 degrees Celsius by thermodynamic alone. We can determine okay, amount of heat transfer. But a typical user or designer is primarily interested in how long the coffee will be before cools to 80 degrees Celsius. That is the question. Okay, let me give you a very simple example. Um, let us assume we are standing in a queue. We are standing in a long queue. Okay. The first question that arises in our mind is how long this queue will take place? How long? How long I have to wait? How long this queue will take? That is the uh, you know very human nature. You see, everyone will ask this question, how long this take? So we are more interested in how long. Okay? So, so this is something cannot be answered by thermodynamic process. Okay. It only deals with the amount of heat transfer, okay. not with the rate of heat transfer. So that rate of heat transfer can be understood and studied with the help of heat transfer. Okay. So that is the primary difference between thermodynamics and heat transfer. Let me put it in the simple words. Thermodynamics talks about the amount of heat transfer, whereas heat transfer talks about the rate of heat transfer. Okay, so amount of heat transfer means so Q. So this is we all know, you know, we must have studied in thermodynamics. Q is the symbol of heat transfer, and amount means the unit is kilojoules, whereas rate means kilojoules per second or watts. Okay. Kilojoules per second or kilowatts, right? If you use kilojoules means kilowatts or joules per second means just watts. Okay. So we are now in we are normally interested in how long it takes for the hot coffee in a thermos to cool to a certain temperature, which cannot be determined by thermodynamic analysis alone. Okay, that is why you know we have to take a detailed study on heat transfer. Fine. So uh, now moving on to the application of heat transfer. Okay. Fine. Before that, before that, let me summarize the point that I have discussed in the previous slide. Thermodynamics tells us how much heat is transferred. Okay. So how much heat is transferred? Fine. How much heat is transferred? How much work is done? Final state of the system. Whereas heat transfer tells us how, you know, how how means with what mode, you know, that we are about to see the different modes. With what modes of heat is transferred, and at what rate? Yes, at what rate? The joules per second, and temperature distribution in the in the body. This is additional point that is. Heat transfer temperature distribution inside the body. Fine. So these are all the summary. Now I got to just uh, the important points of heat transfer. Right. Fine. Now moving on to the 
application part of the heat transfer. So where not is you know applied heat transfer everywhere. You know uh, even in our human body. The first is our human body. You know we are sitting. We constantly. We are constantly you know exchanging you know heat and dissipating heat with the environment, and that depends on the activity that we do. so activity means uh, as someone who is doing you know jogging or who is you know working out in uh, gym now he will dissipate more heat right and if someone sitting you know ideally that dissipation level will be different someone talking for example i am talking to you right now i will also dissipate heat right so Uh, our body or inside continuously continuous heat exchange the mechanisms inside you know we are eating that uh, that food has to be digested and the heat mechanism the mechanism is always there in our body right so human body and uh, and one more point is that um during summer season we have different season like summer season spring season and uh, winter season based on the season we would like to wear clothes uh for instance during summer season the outside and ambient temperature is high right we would not like to go outside we would be able to keep ourselves inside the room and uh, we will be very happy if we have air conditioning system right so uh during summer season we would like to wear some thin clothes right because because you know outside the ambient temperature is high uh, there will be more heat transfer outside from outside to our body okay because of high temperature difference right hotter environment because of the hotter environment whereas during winter season we would like to wear some you know jackets or sweaters something like that so that we can uh, avoid heat dissipation from our body because our body uses more heat during winter season right that is why we wear you know uh, we cover our body entirely you know, especially those who are living in uh, cold uh, climates you know like uti and some you know other foreign countries cold countries you know they cover their body entirely to avoid the heat dissipation right more heat loss means more discomfort so that comfortness is uh, very important for human right so we all you know uh, we all like to be you know in the comfort level so uh, where the heat transfer the place an important role then air conditioning system as i said air conditioning system uh, you know it is it is uh, invented uh, for the comfort of the human beings so we cannot control the entire ambient or environment so right we don't have any super power to control the uh, ambient temperature but we can control the temperature inside the room right inside the room we can control that is the air conditioning system and circuit boards car radiators power plants and refrigeration system these are all some applications some important applications of heat transfer okay so without understanding heat transfer the basics of heat transfer different modes of heat transfer we cannot do anything about it right to design a radiator we must understand you know what is heat transfer what is convection and all there are so many things are there right so for that it is really important to learn about heat transfer fine next the different modes of heat transfer there are different modes is first one is conduction right conduction convection and radiation right? there are three modes of heat transfer let me tell you one by one what is conduction what is convection and what is radiation in the next slide fine okay so i hope uh, you will be able to see this first what is conduction so what is happening this is some uh, part inside 
uh, water is boiling, right? Here water is boiling, and here someone is heating the iron rod, you know, using the candle, and here someone is getting warm up, right? Someone is getting warm up uh, in the campfire, and this is sun. So, how is it related to this example, this practical examples that we see in our day to day life, right? First, let me uh, simply explain what is conduction. Okay, conduction is the transfer of energy from one molecule or one particle to the adjacent particle. Okay, due to the temperature difference. Or conduction is the transfer of energy from more energetic particles to the adjacent less energetic particles. Okay, let me explain with the simple example here. Let us consider this is the iron rod. Okay. So this is the iron rod. Fine. It is iron rod. And this is candle or heat.